Today I'm making another video on Air AI. Last week I made a video on this new tool where you can actually create an agent that calls people and asks questions and books, books appointment and everything like that. But today I want to show you another use case that you can actually use to receive calls. So create a knowledge base that the bot uses to reply to people in real time. I want to mention two things before we jump into the video. I have a recording today. I will let you listen to the recording that I did with this bot, but I want to mention two things. So stay with me until the end of the video to listen to the recording. But before, let me just mention these two things because I think these are really important. The first one, all, all the tools that I'm sharing here, if I don't say it, it means I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. So I'm not affiliated with Air whatsoever. If I am affiliated, I will tell you exactly that that is the case and you will find the affiliate links below. In this case, I have nothing to do with them. The only thing that I do, I find cool tools to use that will help you in your journey with your company and I share with you guys everything that I know and everything that I think could be useful for you. Again, for free. But after I used it last week, I had a chance to speak with the company, with Air AI. And for what I've seen, because other people reach out to me, they told me they had the same experience. What happened was they had a call with the team asking them to join the company, become a partner and do an investment. I didn't do it because I think if a company is good enough, they don't need the customers to do an investment because of course the customers are paying for the service. So that's my point of view. So I didn't do any investment. But if you're deciding whether to use this tool or not, just be aware that that might be the case for you as well. To me, that, that was something I wasn't interested at all. I, if I use the tool, I pay as I go. So if I like it, I keep using it. If I don't, I just don't use it because I think in the future, we will have new companies creating tool like this one. With that said, I want to tell you that this tool is not perfect. You'll be able to listen to the recording and have your own opinion as well. Share your opinion in the comments. I want to know what you think about it. But first I want to show you how to actually create the agent and the knowledge base. Okay, I'm here on the computer, but today the tool decided that doesn't want to work. So I'm showing you this as well, because this might be you and you would say, hey, Cristiano, why you have the tool working and this is not working for me. I'm trying to use it for all today. And this is what I have. The thing doesn't respond at all. I was able to create the agent some days ago. So that's why I have the recording. And that's, that's what I'm sharing with you because I'm unable to do it live with you guys over here in this video. So I uh, last week we created Jarkris. This was the sales agent that was able to send appointments link and everything that we wanted to, uh, to do with the sale agent. The next video that I will publish for this specific tool will be my experience in doing actually campaigns. So having the bot reach out to real people and see if this bot is actually able to bring in results for the company. So stay tuned for that. If you didn't subscribe, do it. So you will be able to see these videos as well. With that said, the creation of this specific inbound calls agent with the type customer service is 95% the same as the previous. So if you want to see how I, how I did it, go watch my previous video because today I'm unable to show it with you because this tool is not working. Working. So for the sake of this video, I already did it and it's super simple to set up three, four steps and you have it set up. One thing that you need to do in order for this to work though, is having a knowledge base. What is a knowledge base? A knowledge base is something the agent uses to reply to customers. So if a customer asks a specific question and if that question is the knowledge base, the bot is able to reply to the specific question. If not, you can set up an automated response. What I did was set up a, a response saying, hey, I don't have the information for this right now. I will search for it and let you know. So that is what I set up for my specific use case for the test that I was doing. I want to show you how the knowledge base looks like. So we go here on knowledge base. This is a test knowledge base that of course I've created. And this is how it looks like. Once you upload the document, you can upload call recordings, you can upload documents, whatever you want, the same exact thing as we did last week. You will have a screen like this one so you can manage your cards are called where you have specific questions in the recording you will see that i didn't ask a specific question related to the first card here saying what is the primary way new customers find the company i actually asked how can i join the company and the, and the agent gave me this response over here so again the, this tool is not perfect they need to work on it in order to make it better but if you want to add specific cards you can do it by clicking here on add to knowledge base you click there and you can select to upload documents, call recording, as I was saying, or manually add FAQs if you have specific FAQs. Once you do that, the bot, of course, 
gets all the information then it's set up and you will be able to use it with phone calls so now let's listen to this phone call it will be super funny because the bot wasn't able to replied to any of my questions and actually gave me a wrong response to one of the questions that I had. Hey, Chris. Hello? How can I assist you today? What can you help me with? I can help you with any questions or concerns you may have about AIR.AI. Um, Do you have the knowledge base? That's an excellent question. I need to search for the information and I will get back to you. Any other questions? Yes. How can I join the company? The primary way new customers find the company is through Google Ads. What is your main challenge? That's an excellent question. I need to search for the information and I will get back to you. Any other questions? So yeah, this is the tool. This is the way it works. Uh, for now, again, I don't feel comfortable to uh, replace people on the phone for the company. And if you have a company you're thinking to do this, my recommendation would be wait a little bit more because this thing needs to be implemented again today. I'm trying to use it and doesn't work whatsoever. Uh, the screen doesn't work and I can't access my agent. I can't do anything. And if I have to use a tool for the business it needs to work every single time I have to use it because if I have to use it for business it needs to be online. There's no in between with tools created for business. With that said, what is my opinion on this tool after using it for two different use cases? On one side, we have a really interesting software where we have a really interesting new way of approaching a specific business of doing sales calls, of receiving calls as well. But I don't see we are close to a finished product. So this is the technical aspect. On the other side, we have Air, this company. I don't have a lot of information on them because, again, I've been using this tool for a couple of weeks, so I don't have a lot of information. But again, I received some emails from you guys you know, giving me feedbacks on the tool as well. You went through the same exact process that I did with the calls of one of their team asking you to become an investor. So that is something that I don't believe in. Everybody has on his own opinions. I mean, I'm not saying that is wrong or anything. I'm just saying if I'm creating a tool for people to test and this tool is not 100% completed because on the website you can actually see it's in beta version. I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable to ask for investments from my customers because if I don't know the tool as a customer, how can I invest in a company that I don't even know? So that is my personal opinion. With that said, I will keep an eye on this tool. I will keep using it. I will create another video next week on the outbound and I will let you know how this tool actually performs and if it brings real results because that is actually what we want. We want the tool to be there to help us and give us results because if that is not the case, we don't have to waste our time and we don't have to waste our money or something that simply doesn't work. With that said, thank you very much for watching this video. One thing that I want to mention, let me know in the comments if you have other tools that you want me to test, other AI tools that you want me to check out and test and give you um, a feedback because I'm super open to this and I like when you guys comment under my videos. We can have an interaction and build a community and then, you know, create videos maybe that will be helpful for other people that will watch these videos in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Again, if you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next video the next week. And of course, I'll see you next week with a brand new video.